Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Chromatica aka Chrom. So let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things. So this has been my, you know, my one. This is the one that I have been, you know, not only accumulating for a while, um, but I average in almost on a daily basis now, uh, trying to throw as much as I possibly can at it. And the reason why is because I do believe that this is going to be a very significant asset to hold um, going into the next major run up within this market. It has been extremely overlooked, but it has been getting a lot of recognition lately. And they have been, you know, expanding greatly as well. And they have been getting a lot of listings. So Chromatica is one that I have been addressing for a little bit of time. Uh, this is the all-time chart. Um, I know that it really doesn't look like much as you do see up here like the all-time high is about 24 cents. Um, not like a crazy all-time high or anything like that. We've just been ranging on here, which I would say that this is accumulation. Um, in fact, we've been in accumulation since going back as far as June 18th. Uh, we've just been kind of ranging between this uh, price action. Again, I think that this is the perfect opportunity to accumulate this range and uh, when we actually look at this asset it literally has less than a four million dollar market cap the best part about this token is that 80 percent of the circulating supply is already out there um, and yes they do have a holders tab you know it's been ranging around like 2000 for a while there's not many individuals actually holding this token which is crazy to me uh, because of what it is doing within this market um, also if you look at the holding addresses uh, this uh, top one here is for we, we broke down the tokenomics around this project um, in my first chromatica video i'm pretty sure um, a lot of the tokens that are not out there aka that additional 20 percent or so um, is going to be held within uh, this wallet as well as i think that there's one other wallet i'm pretty sure but just to give you guys a quick insight again, um, here you guys have the breakdown of the tokenomics. So 7 million tokens are held in the core contributor um, allocation wallet at the end of quarter 1, 2022. 12 million Chrom um, has been locked 12% of the total supply. The tokens have been locked on Unicrypt with an average vesting of two years and three months. The details can be consulted here and they do have like a full on breakdown of this. They are a very transparent team. And yes, there is um, staking opportunities as well for Chrom. Um, but uh, yeah, for anybody who thinks that I'm getting paid, by the way, real quick, I'm always transparent about this. I'm not being sponsored or paid or anything like that by Chromatica. Um, I just do think that this is one of those early gems that a lot of individuals could benefit from being in. So let's talk about why I do believe that this is a very special asset. So not only have they been completely uh, focused on their mission, they have been building during, uh, again, like a bear market. We do see here, here's a little teaser surprise. The build season is in full swing. Uh, we are about to launch our brand new website shortly, uh, you know, brand new design and fresh look along with some new details. And uh, we actually have their full on new website over here. It looks pretty good. Um, you do see like the launch dap, um, you know, button up here as well that you could pretty much launch it and really kind of work around it and look at it. Um, there's also like a discover Chrom uh, button here. They do have a token roadmap and about section, which you can pretty much just scroll here and see it. Uh, so, and by the way, yes, I'm, I'm just going to be 100% honest with you guys. The website is a little bit leggy for me. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that, but um, we do, see, I mean, it's still a very new website, so they're probably still fixing a few things, but we do see the core strength. Our um, innovative DAP brings you the best value for your swaps, um, reduced slippage, automatically processed decentralized limit orders, and additional LP fees on every uh, trade up to 5% of your order size. And we're going to be getting into why these are great um, in a second. We also do see here our, our key um, or our core building blocks. Uh, secure audited smart contracts. Uh, Off-chain key keepers at work, high utility Chrom token. Again, like I said, the Chrom token is a huge opportunity for a lot of individuals, not because they just say it. Uh, we're going to be talking about, you know, more utility around this token itself. Uh, for an example, we just hear the token that pays the service fee to unlock the limit order uh, feature of Chromatica Finance DAP. This means that using Chrom tokens, you not only get access to cost-efficient limit orders on the decentralized exchange, but you will also get LP fees on every trade thanks to innovative approach to providing liquidity. Uh, Chrom tokens have more utilities planned, in including an option for gasless swap staking and many more such utilities will be developed and added into the near future and do you understand uh, what's going on up here you will also get LP fees meaning you will earn 
um, you know, more money, aka, you know, you're going to be earning those fees um, just by providing liquidity, which is awesome. And of course, yes, there's a staking opportunity here as well. Uh, they do break down the circulating supply. They talk about the vesting period as well. Again, very, very transparent. And uh, we do see over here increased security. 7 million CROM tokens are held in a multi-signature uh, Genosis uh, safe wallet as well. Um, and then we do see down here like how to buy. They break down the entire thing. By the way, the best way is through uh, Polygon. I don't know if they have the full-on guide, but if you guys do want, I might be able to do um, a, a tutorial for that. Um, but also their quarter um, two roadmap with quarter three roadmap are fully transparent here as well. Quarter two, currently they are working on liquidity farming rewards for uh, for Chrome liquidity providers on Uniswap on all networks, adding gasless market swap features to the Chromatica protocol, and of course launching Chrome E. And then I'm very excited for this. Uh, this is where we do see Chrome staking and yield farming. Uh, this is going to be happening in quarter three of 2022, launching of a governance token, distribution of governance token to Chromatica protocol users, and then of course they are going to be launching their DAO. And uh, they have a lot more down here in regards to like fundamentals. Um, and they do have like a full on breakdown as well in regards to like, I don't know if they have their full on team docs. That's one thing I think that we had an issue with um, in the past. Um, but they do, you know, share everything in regards to what they are building. Uh, you could discover, you know, about the, you know, DAP and all that kind of stuff. Um, but let's actually talk about why uh, this is, you know, again, a 100x or a 200x opportunity. So for anybody who has utilized a decentralized exchange in the past, uh, you are probably all aware of the massive amounts of fees, specifically when you utilize Uniswap. What we do see are comparing 10 Ethereum to um, DAI uh, swap values on Chromatica and uh, Veladrome uh, Chromatica, $18,688.10 uh, DAI, uh, Velodrome, $18,617.50, um, aka DAO. Uh, Chromatica or die, sorry. Chromatica is the people's choice to scour across multiple decentralized exchange aggregators with liquidity and savings. And I know that this might not seem like a, a lot in regards to like a major change, but you're still saving, you know, roughly like give or take almost like $50 or so on this transaction, or I should say like about $60 or so. Um, which is a game changer. I mean, like this is literally a game changer that is, is searching out the best prices for you. Like there is nothing like this out there in this market. And as decentralized exchanges are still very new, uh, use cases like this are going to shine greatly going forward. And also um, on the next slide here, we just got listed on LA Token. I know that this might not seem like a lot, but this is actually a pretty large exchange with almost 400,000 followers. You can actually see this over here in the Markets tab. Um, you do see you know, Uniswap, Bitru, and BKX. LA uh, Token will be added here soon. And uh, just to give you guys a quick insight, uh, yes, this is on Bitru. I don't know how much liquidity or volume is flowing through here. I mean, I, I, I would assume that it's only $60 because you know, most of the volume is actually flowing over BKX and there's only $350,000 of volume on this token. Um, it's such uh, like it's such a low, you know, pro profile gem at rank number 1070. Like the market cap for this thing is ridiculously low. And uh, also, you guys, like I said, are probably aware that it has gotten listed on Bitru just going back to August 5th. So not even... Um, 10 days later, did we get listed on LA Token? So they have been absolutely killing it right now. Um, and we do see like when a real exchange, like it is on Bitru as well. Like Bitru is a very large exchange. They have over 500 and almost 50,000 followers on Twitter. So again, these are some very large exchanges still. And uh, I'm very excited to see, you know, major centralized exchanges listing Chromatica. I think that that's going to be the game changer for it. And uh, also, when we go over here to the top Optimism F&D decentralized exchanges by TVL growth in the last seven days, guess who is uh, on the list? Chromatico, TVL, about $161,000, a change of 82.46 or 49%. That is huge. That is absolutely crazy to me. And we will most likely continue to make the rounds. Like I said, I think that Chromatica is very special. I mean, even in, uh, just recently on the 10th, we did see Chromatica limit order settled by Chainlink Keepers. The reliable keepers watch over market price 24-7 until the user's target price is reached and then settles the transaction off-chain. Uh, off sorry, The whole process is automated to a button click. 
like I said, they are a game changing uh, decentralized exchange innovation. Um, we do see Metadex aggregator. Often decentralized exchanges have liquidity issues, hence many prefer decentralized exchange aggregators due to its access to multiple liquidity pools. But what if a protocol aggregates across decentralized exchange aggregators? Enter Chromatica uh, Metadex um, aggregator, the best swap rates. And yes, this is what we have uh, to really kind of pay attention. Like this is the, the big game changer. It is searching everywhere for the best swap rates. And they are achieving this. Um, if you actually go through their Twitter page, um, they share with this, or they share uh, this with everyone um, on multiple occasions, really kind of sharing, you know, the value change. Like for an example, here is Chromatica versus Uniswap and versus uh, Velodrome uh, Finance, uh, which is, you know, comparing 1,000 Ethereum to OP swap. Uh, you do see like this is actually a big game changer because there's over nineteen thousand dollars that you're or nineteen thousand OP uh, that you're missing out on, and then comparing it to like Velodrome, you know, it, it's like almost three hundred thousand. So you can see like the major change here in regards to getting the best um, price for your swap. And I do believe that we actually shared with uh, um, this one with you guys on the last major video where I was comparing this one point almost five million USDC to almost four hundred and seventy seven thousand USDC on Uniswap, a sixty percent difference. Like that is massive. That's well over one million dollars worth that you are missing out on if you are utilizing just Uniswap. And like I said, Uniswap is a very large giant in the space. This is a $100 million market cap valuation on Chromatica, an upside of 25X. Now, at $1 billion in market cap, we would be already at a 259X. Uniswap is at a $4.3 billion market cap. One Chromatica would be worth $52.75, an upside of 1,130x. Now again, why am I comparing Chromatica to Uniswap? Well, here is the big difference. This is why I do believe that, you know, when we look at Chromatica, it's a massive game changer. And we do see down here like, okay, but how is this possible? In order for a swap to be one-to-one, -one, there needs to be sufficient USDT to USDC liquidity depth. Individual decentralized exchanges, example, Uniswap, Velodrome, um, and even Optimism or on Optimism, sorry, can't accumulate enough liquidity depth individually. This is where decentralized exchange aggregator steps in. Uh, the, the aggregators are pulling, um, aggregating liquidity from multiple decentralized exchanges, thus having more liquidity depth. Decentralized aggregators also have their own liquidity example, one inch OX Pro protocol. Uh, let's go step uh, let's go step above that Metadex um, aggregator aggregates liquidity from decentralized exchanges aggregates or aggregators as well and uh, Chromatica is a Metadex there's like this is so like there's so much aggregation talk here uh, which is insane but it basically does pull like the aggregating from multiple aggregators and multiple decentralized exchanges sharing with you the best liquidity the best swap rates and the highest confidence around the transaction in general like you are literally saving two hundred and thirty three thousand dollars utilizing chromatica and when you compare it to uniswap i mean it's a night and day difference a 68 percent price impact this is why i say like chromatica is such a game changer i compare it like you know to uniswap at a 4.3 billion dollar market cap is that a little bit too much it might be it's probably not as conservative as most individuals will say um but we could definitely look at like the top 100 I think that, you know, getting into the top 100 would be the first start, which even here, it's 137x opportunity. The craziest thing that I, um, is like the one thing that I have been paying attention to is, uh, for example, like Uniswap, right? We look at Uniswap at the current price with the current market cap, but remember this thing hit, you know, $43. When we go and look at Uniswap at $43, just to give you guys a quick insight. So at $43, it had a market cap of $19.6 billion. If Chromatica gets the amount of growth as well as like popularity that Uniswap did during about 2020 into 2021, Chromatica could have a similar market cap. I share this with you, not to give you guys hopium, 
but to just kind of give you an insight at just a small market cap of $19.6 billion for what Chromatica is doing, for what they are disrupting and building. This is absolutely insane. An upside of 5,120x. One Chromatica would be worth $238.50. This is absolutely insane. Now, do I think that this is conservative? Do I think that this is going to be you know, happening um, in the next cycle or anything? It's hard to say. I would say that this is a lower chance opportunity. I would be more so aiming for about like the $1 billion mark. And then from there, we can really kind of talk more price action, uh, depending on how early we are into the cycle. I like to kind of cut you know, my uh, profits uh, when I do believe that the cycle top is either near. Um, how would you know when the cycle top is near? Well, you'll hear people calling for massive highs um, like we did see just recently. So uh, with that being said, you know, even if we did compare, you know, Chromatica just to optimism at the current price action, uh, you're still looking at about an 86, you know, X opportunity. And uh, just remember that optimism is one that is very inefficient compared to Chromatica, uh, which we shared with you guys on multiple, you know, occasions. Also, tokenomics are completely terrible compared to Chromatica. And, uh, you know, the all-time high, roughly $2.20. Let's actually go look at Optimism. I think at $2.20, it's like, let's actually look at this. So, uh, about roughly almost a $500 million market cap. Chromatica would be about 122x opportunity at that all-time high uh, market cap of Optimism. Like I said, comparing Optimism to uh, Chromatica is like a night and day difference. So, like I said, efficiencies and uh you know decentralized exchange innovations are going to go a, uh, a long way going into the future of this market because like decentralized exchanges and DeFi itself is still a very early stage in this market anyway so with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below as always up to you all have a beautiful day beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world this has been nick peace out guys